Hello, it's Rockin.KK here, and I'm going to be doing a super easy spring rock. I'm going to do spring flowers, or really just like a little doodle flower, and I'm going to be using four different mediums to show you that you can just use what you have on hand to make these flowers. You don't have to go out and buy anything. So I'm going to be using a Derwent Ink Tints and Fuchsia. I'm going to be using a turquoise watercolor brush by Sophie's, and I'm going to be using a Ohuhu um, alcohol ink marker and then a Sharpie marker. So right now, I'm using a little round brush, and I wet it with water, and I'm just rubbing it on the tip of the pencil to get my color. Now, you don't have to do it that way. That is my own way that works best for me. There's a bunch of other ways. You can draw it right on the rock. You can do some other crazy things, but this is the way that works for me. So, I did it. You just have to be, like, just real loose. Just paint it on there. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. As you see, I just made a little oops with my orange alcohol ink marker, but we'll fix that later. So I used the Sophie and Turquoise on the second one. And now I'm using the alcohol ink in orange. And now the Sharpie. Now the cool thing about the Sharpies is they work with alcohol. So I did part of it with the marker. And then I took a brush. And I, I stuck it in some alcohol. And um, I was going to fill it in for you. But I had grabbed a little brush. And... I started doing that and it was taking too long so you're gonna see I'm just gonna be like forget this I'm gonna go back with the with the marker but you can use Sharpie just know that the only one on this whole rock that is light fast is the Derwent ink tints so that one will um, last a lot longer out in the Sun the others won't so this rock will have to be an inside rock so after you let all your colors dry really well, I'm taking a Thule Art fine liner and I'm just going to draw in some little lines and dots and just do a little doodle and fill in the stems, put some little leaves. Now this is a smaller um, O1 and I'm making little dots kind of around that base of those lines. And I start, to, I start out a little mark to kind of show where I'm at in the middle. And then I just bring out my lines from there. And you can do short lines and tall lines. It's really up to you. And then I did the little stem off to the side. But you can put your flowers wherever you want. Um, you can add any doodles you want. This is just something to go by that gives you an idea of what you can do. So now I'm going to take a couple of the watercolor brushes and just add a little green into the leaves. I'm doing a light green and then I'm just kind of going around the outside with a, a darker green. And then I'm going to just put a little bit on the stems just to accent. You don't have to do that or you can go big and do more. Now these little dots I'm turning into little tiny bud flowers. And then I'm going to make some plain ones. And now I'm just doing some little doodle weeds or vines or whatever you want to call it. And um, I'm going to leave this background white because it's really pretty with the natural Santorini stone. Um, but you can put a background color if you want to. And this is all there is to it. Just a super simple rock to show you. You can use what you have and you can doodle and make a super cute rock for spring. So I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope y'all paint this, give it a try. And I hope to see what you paint. 